climate alarm bells ringing yet again as the World Meteorological Organization warns of sea levels in the Pacific Ocean rising much faster than anywhere else in the world. That's putting low-lying nations at risk as their lands may soon become uninhabitable. Now, the latest report states that the global average sea level rise in the last three decades is around 9.4 centimetres. But in many areas of the western tropical Pacific, the sea level has risen approximately 10 to 15 centimetres. That's nearly twice the global rate measured since 1993. That's because melting ice from western Antarctica flows towards the western tropical Pacific. The rise is also exacerbated by ocean warming and ocean currents. Now, researchers say the continued burning of fossil fuels is leading to higher temperatures, which are in turn melting ice sheets and glaciers. Now, some sites, particularly Kiribati and Cook Islands, measured a rise that was similar to the global average. But other places, such as the capital cities of Samoa, and Fiji rose almost three times higher. Scientists have warned that even under some moderate scenarios, Tuvalu could be almost entirely wiped off the map within the next 30 years. While the Pacific Islands collectively pump out less than 0.02% of global emissions each year, they are among the most vulnerable to climate change. The impact of sea level rise is considered disproportionately high since the average elevation of many Pacific islands is just one or two metres above sea level. And most of the population lives near the coast. Now, United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres, speaking at the Pacific Islands Forum earlier today, has made a climate plea to the international community to save the seas before it's too late. The world must look to the Pacific and listen to science. This is a crazy situation. Rising seas are a crisis entirely of humanity's making. A crisis that will soon swell to an almost unimaginable scale with no lifeboat to take us back to safety. But if we save the Pacific, we also save ourselves. The world must act and enter the SOS before it's too late. 